Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitterman Studios, and I wanted to go over how to make the server responsible for spawning all things. Why is it important for the server to be able to spawn all things? Good question. So, it is important for the server to be able to spawn all things simply because uh, then the controller controls all the network views of that which is spawn. So, uh, if the server does not control the network objects that have been spawned, as in it's not the owner of the network view, then it can't, it's over, it even if it updated things, it would have to do extra work in order to be able to update it. What we want to do is make the server in control of updating anything and responsible for sending it to all the clients. So, we're going to make a simple explanation of that through, uh, I'm going to call this script spawn things. Sounds fantastic. Alright, so spawn things. We're going to open that up. And before we start scripting this guy all over, we're going to go ahead and uh, make a game object to spawn. So I'm going to create other, I'm going to create a cube, and this cube is just going to have a rigid body so they don't all spawn on top of each other, it just spawns and falls. Cool. Oh yeah, and uh, well we don't, we don't need, technically need a network view on this guy, but it would be nice for... Uh, both the client and the server to to have simulation of that of the same simulation. So, uh, but since they both have rigid body and it's on the same computer, it should simulate exactly the same, presumably. So I'm going to drop this cube into my prefabs, and I'm going to go back to my scripts and spawn things. Let's open it up. Okay, so spawn things. What is this going to do? Well, we're going to need an update, so private void update. Now, I'm going to show you the normal way that we spawn things. We're going to say uh, if network view dot is mine, then we're going to say if input dot get key down, uh, key code dot, let's say, space. So, if it is my network view and I have pressed the space bar, then we are going to spawn an object. We need an object to spawn, so public game object uh, spawn equals null. And we're going to say the normal thing we're used to network view or network dot instantiate my spawn at transform dot position uh, quaternion dot identity and zero. So this will spawn the object, right? So uh, this would work just fine if I jumped over here. Let me get rid of this cube. And uh, I'm going to make a game object, an empty one that's just going to float here. And I'm going to put my spawn things on it. Huh. My script is not saving for some reason. Let's try like a uber save or something. Save. Well, how annoying. All right. Maybe it doesn't like my script name, so save changes? No. Okay. Well, I'm just going to call it spawn then, see what happens. SBA demand. Let's open that up. That all. Oh. This one looks like it's going to work. It doesn't have that full path in there. Odd. Okay. Save this. I'm going to jump back to this game object, drop the spawn on it. Get rid of this old one. I should have just put it in that socket. Remove. Okay. And then we're going to put our cube into the spawn socket. I'm going to press play, make sure it works, so that when I press spacebar, things spawn. Oh my. It's taking a while to play. Oh my goodness. Oh, man, that took forever. What happened here? Oh, missing network view. That's <laughs> it, uh, that's important for spawning things on the network. Network view. I'm just going to turn this off at the moment. Let's play. Host and press spacebar. We should get cubes. So we can spawn cubes. Those are spawning on the network. So, uh, let me... Just open up a client here. 
do 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 play okay I'm gonna play over here now I'm going to uh, host here and connect here and you can see that I can't spawn over here I can spawn over here and you'll see them across the network so uh, that's because of the is network view is mine and of course it's owned by the server so you can see that when objects are owned by this uh, certain uh, network view that they only have control over there when you do something like this uh, for the network view is mine if I did not have that it would work on both however that is usually not something you want happening so I'm gonna build and run let's open up this guy and uh, before I do this, let's, let's let's add a network view to our cube. Uh, so that it has an owner. It's be kind of hard to, to see this at first glance. You might have to go on faith for a little bit of it. So let's host here, connect here. Da, 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 da. So everybody gets their cubes. So now everyone can spawn cubes. Now whoever spawns the cube, whoever is calling this network instantiate, owns the cube. Now I said I want the server to be able to own all cubes. And I want to be able to spawn them the way I am right now, where the client is spawning them, the server is spawning them. However, when the client spawns the cube, I don't want it to own the cube. What I want it to do is request for the server to spawn the cube, so the server has ownership over the cube, not the client. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to simply make it so that the owner of the cube will be the server. And we can do that by making, let's say, an RPC call. So we're going to make an RPC call. I'm going to say uh, public void request uh, spawn. Okay? Now, what's going to happen here is that when we press the spacebar, if we are the network, so if uh, network dot is server, so if we are the server, we are going to spawn the cube. Else, if we are not the server, we're going to request a spawn of the cube. So we're going to say network view dot RPC. We're going to call the request spawn remote procedure call. And guess what we're going to put into the RPC mode? All we're doing is the server, nobody else, just the server. So request spawn server. Object arguments, we have no arguments. So when we request the spawn on the server, the server then spawns the object. So I'm going to just copy this guy here, paste it in here. Now, since the server is spawning, and we're going to doubly, like, kind of just pack this in to make sure only the server is allowed to spawn. So we can do yet another if is server. So if you forget to, and you accidentally put, like, re request mode all, you probably should error handle for that. For, me, for now, we're just going to say, hey, only the server can spawn these guys, even in this RPC call. So now, if I play this, oh, if I build it, I guess I should say. So now if I build this, and play here, I'm going to make this guy over here the server. So host, where, connect. All right. Woo! chat system demo. So I'm going to press spacebar. Notice that when I press the spacebar on the client, it was still spawn on the server. So these objects are being spawned on the server. How can we tell they're spawned on the server? You see this jittering? We haven't done network interpolation from the server to the client. So we know that all of those cubes are spawned on the server simply because they're janky. They have, they're not smooth. See how smooth they are over in the server, and then over here they're kind of really dripping out. So uh, you can tell that the server is uh, the one owning the objects. If the server owns the objects, 
the client cannot manipulate the objects over the network. If the client tries to manipulate a cube and say, hey, everybody, this is what this cube is doing, the server can say, uh-uh, no, no, this is my object. You can't mess with it. I have, I am an ownership of it, and so only I say what things, what happens to this, to this cube. Even though you asked me to make it, I own it. So this is the beginning of our uh, kind of server, uh, master server, kind of the server that's in in charge, the authoritative server. Uh, of all the clients and the clients send requests to the server and the server processes them so that the server is really in control and you can start to really hone down and cut out any kind of uh, hacking that other people can do not all of it but lots a pretty massive portion uh, versus peer to peer so I uh, hope you like this and uh, keep checking out for new stuff it's been a while since I've made some videos I'm trying to make them again uh, but I'll see you very soon